So a Russian ship, an A-50, just got downed. We'll never know what happened. It's Russia. It's Ukraine. They will lie to us forever. It's the CIA. They'll lie to us forever. But was it friendly fire? Or did Ukraine get to shoot it down with our Patriot missiles? Well, here's what I think. I think that Ukraine shot it down because Ukraine has been shooting Russian planes out of the sky like every day now. This is like this 10th plane they've shot down this past month. Okay, I don't know exactly number. I know that like the past week it was six, but presumably it was more. The, before before that, there was more planes get shot down. So our Patriot missiles are amazing against Russian planes. They have no defenses. We just keep on shooting out of the sky. And then Russian media puts out a statement. Russian newspapers like, friendly fire. Whoops. What did, what could we do? It was uh, defense systems that by mistake shot out of the sky. We don't believe you. So. What is Putin going to do now? Because he's going to war with the West, but his boats keep on sinking. His planes keep on falling. Like, It's really great. And so I really like this war in Ukraine. You know, before I was kind of 50-50. It's like, why are we sending hundreds of thousands of people to just die in the front? Why? You know, all the programmers that you used to use in the United States, they're all Ukrainian. Well, they're all dead now because they're fighting in the front. So, but we can degrade their military capabilities. You know how much everything Russia has, has spent in, you know, just things that can't be replaced, right? This, this, what's it called, S-50? It, it can't be replaced. It's a special, also 15 soldiers were died, so, so that's, so we're killed. That's a thing that happened. 15 Russian soldiers were killed in this, but... They are losing things that are unreplaceable, like specialized ships, specialized planes, specialized equipment that Russia does not have capabilities to replace because the West has sanctions on it. And while most sanctions on Russia are completely ignored, actually most sanctions in the world are completely ignored and smugglers bring in everything, there's one thing that is a lot harder, though obviously it is ignored to some extent, it is military weapons, equipment, things like that. Of course, people still try to do it illegally, but the U.S. is looking out for that and they get caught. Like this past week, a Japanese uh, mob boss was arrested for trying to sell uranium and plutonium to the Iranians, presumably to make a nuclear bomb with, right? And then they just arrested uh, four uh, non-U.S. citizens. I don't know exactly where they were arrested, but they were arrested for selling weapons to the Houthis in Yemen. So that's a thing. And so... It is a thing, and so Russia can't get the really fancy stuff. They get the really cheap stuff from the smugglers. And so when when all these planes keep on falling out of the sky and they have nothing left, yeah, Ukraine still might fall because it's Russia. Just send 100 million people into, into Ukraine and just win it. But Russia can't fight us anymore. China's still a threat. China still has their huge navy. Okay, fine. What can we do? You know, they have a huge industrial base. If they want to build it, they can just build it like that. It's China beat everyone who doesn't listen but russia they're far away very far away so we're good and the more planes that fall out of the sky the more ships that sink the more the stronger the united states gets in the world so it's a great thing let's keep on shooting them out of the sky okay you want to that's why biden supplied them with i think 200 million dollars i think 200 million dollars if i'm not mistaken in defense uh in like a defense package which would, did not go through Congress. It was like a separate thing. I like this. Because this is what we're shooting things out of the sky. Our defense capabilities. Which is basically what half the Patriot missiles are just defense. Even though they took out a plane. So let's keep on supplying them with these type of defense capabilities. And let's keep hope for Russian planes keep on falling out of the sky. We can all get behind that.